and obviously, as I've as I've mentioned, you 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 have a you have a, a plethora of things that you do. But uh, one of the things that you're most famous for is your channeling. And uh, tell people yeah. what what channeling is for anybody who's not familiar with it. Well, there's many different um, ways that people do channeling. So some people channel, for example, aliens or entities or groups of people. So mass consciousness, okay, which is really hard to explain because it's not like a person, place or thing. Um, I try to channeling really in my books. I do not let anything take over my body. Okay, so nothing steps in me that I'm aware of. Uh, But I. I try to connect to a dead person's energy or um, the energy around a circumstance. That's how I do it. So it's really a form of mediumship that I call channeling. I think the channeling community would say it's not necessarily their version of it because they channel like mass consciousness together. Like if you know Abraham Hicks or any of those people, they're channeling like groups of beings connected together. So when I look at it, it's kind of in that perspective you give this extraordinary detail when when you are doing your version of channeling and I I should say yeah. you've done you've done many people Patrick Swayze Kate Spade Princess Diana John Benet Ramsey uh Naya Absolutely. Rivera, many so so tell us about some of those experiences which were the sort of standouts for you there must because I've watched oh. you and yeah. this must take something out of you. I mean, you can actually see you visually changing when you go through the process. I think I think the person that got me most was Kate Spade, um, because she was absolutely in my face. And I was weirdly at the laundromat. I never go to a laundromat unless I have like huge comforters, but I was at the laundromat and she would not leave me alone, like literally right there tapping her heel on her kitchen, like on her kitchen counter. So she was just there watching me. And it was such a quick video that I had to run in and do it. Um, I'm waving him at her appointment out in the car. They're, they're like drop, walking by wondering what I'm doing in my back seat out here. Uh, <laughs> Wait till you tell them. Yeah, I know. They'll be like, whatever. What is she doing? That's slow. Um, That's slow. Yeah. Yeah, she's in the car doing something. Um, But yeah, so Kate Spade was a real standout. Patrick Swayze was a standout because I love the movie Ghost that I watched as a young kid, you know, years ago. But when I was hiking, he came through to me and he was actually quite a spiritual person. And for some reason, I had watched the movie Ghost and again, just to watch it and for no reason. And he came through to me. And so he was very strong. Princess Diana was adamant about the children, the trafficking, the tunnels, very adamant. And I would say Anthony Bourdain telling me literally who killed him, which I'll, if you watch the video, he says it, you know, who who killed me, he kept playing word games with me, but that was outstanding because he was killed by an instrument that I don't think I heard on, on anybody mention it. And he was shocked and killed and made to it was murder it was murder he did not kill himself I don't care what they say they can come and get me I'm not going to back down so Anthony Bourdain was adamant and Anthony Bourdain and Chris Cornell both carried the shame of not knowing how they died so when their when their energy came they wouldn't look at me and it's not like I see them like I see you I see the image go through in my mind sometimes people stand in front of me okay Anna Nicole Smith stood in front of me but I knew her in real life okay like I actually she was a client so I knew her um it, and she haunted my entire house uh which is weird she my kids everybody everywhere I went people saw Anna Nicole Smith like she was right there so she's a very strong presence and could connect through on a physical way but most people can't so I get snippets like a movie screen in my head and then I'm able to see and so Chris Cornell and Anthony Bourdain and Amy Winehouse both carried shame on their soul. And after a while of processing on the other side, they were able to like lift their heads up. So I could see just a snippet of them making eye contact. And it's really hard to explain because it's not like I'm looking at you. It's not as clear as that. It's different. It's kind of peripherally and you just know that they're okay. Chester Bennington had no problem. Very strong, very adamant about who killed him how he was set up and what went on. So there's, there, it's very much a spiritual war. It's very much a spiritual war. 